Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Nefleon Wigs. I will have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So today the wig that I'll be working with is a 13 by 4 lace front wig, 14 inches. It is a curly bob. It's 180% density and it does have balayage highlights. This color is perfect for fall. It's a beautiful auburn color with blonde highlights. The wig cap construction does not include any combs at all, but it does have an adjustable strap in the back and the hairline is pre-plucked. Even though the hairline is pre-plucked, I am going to go the extra step to take away some more of that density from the hairline. This step is always optional. You don't have to do it, but I like my hairlines to look as natural as possible. So to do this, I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. Ryan Little. <laughs> So now that I'm satisfied with the hairline, it's time to tint the lace. Grabbing two different colors of lace tints, the first one is the color of my foundation and I will be spraying that along the outer portion of the frontal. I'll be doing two layers of that and then blow drying in between each layer. The second color lace tint that I have is the color of my scalp. I'm going to spray that in the inner portion of the frontal. I'm doing two layers of that one as well and blow drying as well in between each layer. So now it's time to style the hair. I'll be grabbing a spray bottle of water, some hair gel, as well as my Denman brush and detangling comb. I'm going to grab a section of hair, use my detangling comb to detangle the section. Then using my spray bottle of water, I'm going to fully saturate that section. Adding the hair gel to the section, I'm going to also use my Denman brush to get those curls to pop. This is a blunt cut bob and with blunt cut bobs, a lot of times the ends of the hair do not curl as much as the rest of the hair. And I want this wig to be curly all the way through until the ends. So I'll be using these blue perm rods to add curl definition at the ends. And this is also going to help the hair look a lot more natural after it's styled because it's also going to give the illusion of different curl patterns throughout the head as well. So now that I am finished, I am going to allow the hair to set and air dry overnight. It's the next morning and it's now time to install the wig. Grabbing alcohol, I'm going to clean my forehead off with that alcohol and then grab scalp protector and apply that to my hairline. Grabbing the wig, I'm going to place it on my head and make sure that the ear tabs are lined up and that the wig is in its proper placement. Grabbing a pair of scissors, I'm going to make two slices in the extra lace and that is dividing the extra lace into three sections. Pinning the left and right portions away from my face, I'm going to push the wig backwards to have a clear view of my hairline. Using Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel in the black tube, I'm going to apply a thin layer of that to the center section first and then blow dry until it is tacky. 
Grabbing the extra lace, I'm going to place it over that tacky gel and then use the back end of a rat tail comb to help press that lace into the gel. I'm going to follow those steps for the left and right portions of the wig, put my headscarf on for about 15 minutes, and then come back and cut off the extra lace. I did do some baby hairs off camera. Now it's time to remove those perm rods. So now I'm just gonna grab a hair oil and apply that to the hair for a natural looking shine, of course. I'm just going to separate those curls to get bigger hair with more elevation and also grabbing my pick to get more elevation and body with this wig because I wanted it to be very full and big like my natural hair would be in a twist out or like a big wash and go. And here is a close up of that natural looking melt. I think the hairline looks amazing, but I am gonna apply a little bit of eyeshadow to the parting space because this hair color against my complexion doesn't really show up that well. I'm gonna have to define the part a little bit more. So here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below so that I know you stopped by as well as give this video a huge thumbs up. I will have all of the information, the promo codes, and all the information that you need about the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.